हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम दैट इज द ऑप्टिमल पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द फर्स्ट इन फर्स्ट आउट पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम लीस्ट रिसेंटली यूज्ड पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम नाउ लेट अस सी द थर्ड वन दैट इज द ऑप्टिमल पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम सो इन ऑल दिस पेज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑलगरिदम वी हैव टू रिप्लेस द पेज इन द मेन मेमोरी दैट इज इन द रैम सो टू प्लेस द demanded page by the cpu so whenever the page that is not present in the main memory that page has to be taken from disk and place it in the main memory that is in the ram so if the page uh, if the main memory frames are all full we have to replace the page that already present in the main memory so which page has to be replaced so that is a tactic we have to follow which page has to be replaced whether we have to follow the first in first out replacement algorithm or we have to follow the least recently used replacement algorithm or we have to use the optimal page replacement algorithm so based on the user's requirement you can go for the uh, different page replacements algorithm so uh, the hit ratios or the page fault ratios everything will be based on the reference string taken by the user so the user take a uh, string whatever the string he has taken and if the those strings or that are uh, the pages that were present in the main memory then you, you will get the less page faults if those pages are not present in the main memory then you will get the page faults more okay so that is the main difference uh, between the different algorithms now let us see what is the technique that is followed by the optimal page replacement algorithm so here we have taken the reference string that is a user uh, process that is a input given so this is a, the cpu is demanding for these pages in the main memory so now first it is checking whether this page is present in the main memory if that page is not present in the ram then it we call it as a page fault so first the cpu the user is demanding for the page 7 so that page 7 is not present in the main memory so at starting the complete ram is free so 7 is not present so we have to place it from, uh, take it from the disk and uh, secondary memory and place it on the main memory so place 7 so this comes un comes under the page fault because 7 is not present so we are taking from the secondary memory and place it in the main memory so next i had to place 0 7 0 so 0 is not uh, present in the ram so i have bought that 0 from the secondary memory now still the one more frame is free in the main memory so place 1 also so 1 is also not present in the main memory so we have to bought from the secondary memory now i have to place 2 so already the the 2 is not present in the main memory so i bought from the uh, secondary memory but where i have to replace the page so already the all the frames are full in the ram so which page i had to be replaced now here i have to follow the optimal page replacement algorithm so the optimal page replacement is saying that so we have to replace the page which is used later uh, later case so up to now we have checked this uh, left hand side means already used pages already refer used reference pages in the fifo and lru but in optimal page replacement we have to check this side means which is not used in longest time in future so in longest time in future we which page reference we are not using so that page we have to be removed okay the page that is not used uh longer time in the future so here if you take one so one here we are using okay and the zero the zero we are using here and coming to the seven the seven we are using at the last it is the longest time in future so just replace the seven just replace the seven and place two in place of seven so this is also page fault because two is not present okay so the page optimal page replacement is you have to replace the page which is not used uh, in longest time in future okay so the 7 is very longest time in future we are using that 7 
so that page we have to be replaced so zero means we are using after two we are using zero so don't replace that page and one means uh, when compared to the seven one is using most recently okay uh, so the seven is the longest time we are not using that seven so just replace the seven so that is the optimal page replacement now coming to zero so the demanded page zero is already pre uh, present in the main memory so write as it is so this is hit page hit means if the demand the user's demand page is already present in the ram so then you call it as a page hit now coming to three so three is not present here so page fault so we have to bring it from the secondary memory now where we have to place so now check for the longest time in future which page is used longest time in future so zero is using next to the three so next two is also using next to the zero and coming to the one one we are using in the longest time in future so just replace one so in place of one we are just replacing two zero three so zero is already present in the main memory so this is hit now coming to the four okay so four is not present here so i have to this is a page fault so i had to brought from the secondary memory now which page i have to be replaced to place the four so now check in the longest time uh, in the future we are using the two is next to the four we are using two so don't replace two next three is also i'm using next to the two so the zero the zero is when compared to two and three zero is the longest time in future we are using that reference string so just replace the zero so in place of zero i had to write three so this is also page fault okay now two two is already present in the uh, main memory the demanded page is already present in the main memory so just simply write that and mark it as a hit now coming to three three is also present in the main memory that is a ram so hit now place zero so zero is not present here so page fault so page fault so which page i had to be replaced from zero the three is next used two is next used so four is not here so if there is not uh, the four is not present here so just replace that because it is not using so longer so in place of four just write zero two zero three so three is already present hit two is already present in the main memory so this is also hit next coming to one one is not present in the main memory so i have to replace the page which page i have to replace so one after i'm using two okay next is zero so three is not here so just replace the three in place of three i'm writing one zero two this is page four so two is already present in the main memory so two zero one this is hit and zero is already present zero one hit one is already present so two zero one simply write as it is now coming to the seven so which page i had to be replaced okay so like this here it is going like this here uh next the strings coming to next is one or else you just simply replace the item which we are using so longer time that is a seven zero one so this is page fault okay so this is the optimal page replacement algorithm so here then what is the number of hit hit ratio so learns page hit so the page hits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 page hits. What are the page faults? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 page hits and 9 page faults in this reference string. So the hits and faults will be changed based on the reference strings that the user is given. So this is about the optimal page replacement algorithm. Thank you.